So today I'm going to be talking about why I think the rating system is a little bit flawed for books. Usually books are just rated from 1 to 5 stars. If you really like a book, you give it a 5 star. If you really hate a book, you give it 1 star. Um, the in-between part is where I have issues. I have a lot of books in the 5 star category. I really don't think that that's an issue. I do think that sometimes I'm a little bit lenient on giving a book 5 stars, but I do want to recommend that book to everyone. I think it's fantastic, and that's why I'm giving it 5 stars. So I really have no problem with that rating whatsoever, as well as the 1 star rating. I have no problem with that one either. You go into 2, 3, 4, and that's where you have issues. Primarily, I have issues with the 4 star rating. I read books in many different genres. I read classics, adult fiction, memoirs, graphic novels, YA, contemporary, all so many different genres. Sometimes I think from one book to the other I'll give them the same rating but they're completely different stories and I don't want to give people the wrong intention that one book is the same as the other, even in quality, just because I gave it four stars. Let me explain. I gave Anna and the French Kiss four stars. YA Contemporary, I thought it was really cute, really enjoyed it. I also gave Adolf in Wonderland four stars. That's in the bizarro fiction genre, an adult novel. Anna and the French Kiss and Adolf in Wonderland, who completely different stories. I would never want to give people the wrong impression that they are any bit the same. Completely different, different genres, different storylines. Even quality-wise, they are vastly different. However, I still really enjoyed both stories, and I would still probably read one or the other again if I was bored on a long car ride or something. And I would still recommend the both to certain people, but not to other people that don't enjoy those genres. That's where I think sometimes if you're looking on Goodreads and you look at the friends list and you're seeing, oh, this person gave it four stars, maybe it's worth reading, I should go buy it. I would never want to give people the wrong impression. But of course, they should look into the different genres and whatnot as well. That's one example of my four star rating, kind of have an issue with that sort of a thing. Two other books that I gave four stars. The Stranger by Albert Camus and White Girl Problems by Babe Walker. The Stranger is a depressing philosophical classic. It is absolutely wonderful. White Girl Problems is also wonderful. It is hilarious and lighthearted and fantastic. Two completely different novels, but I enjoyed them both so much. Vastly different though, so completely different in writing styles, clearly in genre and development and everything of that sort. So as you can tell, I have many different four star ratings. That's my issue. I know some people also have problems with three star ratings and even two star ratings. The way that I rate books, it goes like this. Five stars. I really enjoyed the book. I would recommend it to anyone, no matter what genre they generally read. I think it is a fantastic read for anyone. Four stars, I still really enjoyed the book. I did think that there was like a slight flaw in it. However, I still thought it was fantastic. I would still probably reread it. Three stars, a very average book. I got through the story and the story was a nice one, but maybe it was cliche or maybe I just didn't enjoy it as much. Two stars is generally a three star book, but I didn't enjoy the ending, so I gave it a two star. One star, would not recommend it to anybody. I would love to know your views on ratings. Please let me know down below how you rate your books from five stars to one star, how exactly your system goes, which ones are like more different than the other, which books contrast. I am very interested. I'm sure that there are many different opinions on this. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.